Hello and welcome to the next episode of Scarring in the Atlas. Um, today's episode is a, a little bit different. Um, yeah, the main thing that I'm looking at doing today is I had a comment from one of the people looking at my videos. Um, and yeah, big shout out to Gemini Sierra for giving me the lowdown on this one. Um, it's not really well known about where Crystal is in the map. I mean, the, the Atlas wiki is pretty light on... Um, there's a little bit of stuff out there when you search for things, but there's not a lot of stuff going on. But you can actually find Crystal in the starting map. And what you need to do is when you're here on the very, very starting steps, as you're looking out, that ridge on your left, if you were to climb up there, you will find Crystal. So, we're going to go over there and we're going to go and check it out. Now, the main problem that you're going to have is you're going to need to climb. So, the main thing that you will need for climbing is the climbing picks. I don't know if I actually have any on me. Why do you? I know I do. Uh, but we'll go through the motions and we'll get ourselves set up for how you actually need to get this to happen. So we're going to run over and can't actually see it yet. But the reason why I want crystal uh, and whenever I do this is I'm now holding my spyglass. I've already got it. Uh, well, yeah, there it is there. So that is what I'm aiming for. That little purple crystal node there but the spyglass allows you to look at a distance and you can tell what you're looking at so there's a nice well it's a horse but it's not nice level there's a pig it's about half level based on the, the level cap that i'm working on but you can check things out from a distance so it's really really handy to have there are obviously other things that crystal can do for you but um yeah we need to work out how to get up there Unless there's a crystal node that's a bit lower. Haven't really bothered to search too far out. But it's definitely up there. I mean, we can walk up, I guess, part way. So, anyway, what you need to do is... The first thing we need is to get ourselves a foundation. Um, when you're first starting out in the starting area, you are going to be working on a thatch foundation. Uh, thatch floor, fibers, wooden thatch. Okay. So, you know, by the time you're actually searching for it, you're probably going to have your primitive gear. You're going to have a primitive stone pick and a primitive stone axe. Um, you probably won't have a sickle and all that, but you can just walk up and you can grab. If I actually turn my sickle off, I mean, you can just walk up and you just start grabbing. Right? The main aim you're looking to do is get yourself set up, a couple of foundations, and build yourself a smithy. So, we'll do that now. Uh, we got a wood floor, most people be the thatch floor. We'll build two of those. Okay. Right. Once you have your little base set up, you then need a smithy. Yeah, I always hate looking through this. Oh, there it is there. Uh, flint, hide, metal, stone, fibre and wood. Uh, most of that's easily collectible just as you find it. Um, I mean, as you're coming towards this particular spot. These blue rocks here. These particular rocks, you basically use the H key on them and it tells you what's in there. These are straight metal nodes. You are not going to have an issue with collecting metal. Um, there's a couple of pigs here. Oh, I just built something based off my old menu. Let's just get rid of those. What level are you? Level 72 pig. I'm not going to want to kill that. Level 20 pig. I could probably do that. Uh, you're a bit close, but... Okay, level 16 seagull. We can probably do that. Yes, yes we can. So you're going to want to kill a few things. That way you can get some of the skin. I'm not sure if that was enough. Let's have a quick look. Smithy. Uh, hide, I need a little bit more. Level 12 horse will probably do it. Oh, probably not, actually. Alright, let's look for something. Uh, okay, another bird. What level are you? 
quite high level. The, the seagulls do attack you, which is really frustrating. But, a level 100 chicken. As long as it's not an alpha chicken, they won't attack back, so... That's free meat, free hide. Okay. Next. Smithy requires flint, stone, and wood. Uh, so we look for a regular rock. Oh, that's coal. Oh, didn't actually know there was coal on the original island. Apparently there is. Well, when I say original, we're talking Freeport. Right. right. Bit of that, bit of wood. Smithy, a little bit more stone. Just keep using the hatchet. So if you're wondering how to get more stone or more flint, uh, more thatch or more wood, the axe on the rocks will give you more stone. The axe on the tree will give you more wood. The pick on the rock will give you more flint. And the pick on the tree will give you more thatch. So always keep that in mind. And then you have a smithy. And I really like the change they made recently. Um, crafting of some stuff just takes a lot less time these days. Because they sped up the, the crafting time. So you end up with your smithy. In your smithy, you'll need to basically go through your skills and find the relevant items. So when you're first starting out, you're going to be going for the basics. And that's where you get your stone pick, your stone hatchet, and all the rest of that. But then from the tools of the trade, you're moving down into the advanced tools route. And once you get to the advanced tools, you can build the smithy, and it also gives you access to the climbing pick. So inside the smithy itself, you can build the climbing pick. It doesn't take any more materials than we've already just talked about. The fibres, the hide, the metal and the wood. And you can get yourself a couple of those. And now, we can actually move up the hill. So, we'll take our climbing pick, put it on our bar. I feel like I should be able to get up there without it being an issue, but it doesn't look like I can. And I'm just left clicking. The left click, you can see a little green icon that sort of gives you an indication of roughly where you're climbing to, and you just go up. Uh, it will use your energy, and you'll probably need to rest along the way. Um, this one's not too bad because it's actually got a break point in between. Sometimes you end up getting stuck halfway along, and you run out of energy, and it becomes a slight issue. And I'm running out of food. Uh, let's grab a couple of these. An egg will probably use one. Oh, shouldn't have eaten the meat. That's raw. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Here we go. This is actually using the durability on my climbing pick. So if you climb a long way, you can actually find that your climbing pick will run out of durability. At which point, you basically fall. And you don't want that. And here I am. We are on the starter island, and here is Crystal. So now I can grab a sample of that. Not the bow, you want number seven. And... No surface to climb, sure there is. Come on, let me back down. No. Oh. Apparently I can fall and actually survive that. Obviously I'm not very good at climbing. Hmm. Anyway. I thought you could just climb down. That's really weird. Let's try it back here where... There is definitely a surface to climb. Oh. Well that one let me on. Now I can climb down. So yeah, you don't want to do it like me climbing down. You want to... Uh, Make sure that you get onto a surface so that you can actually uh, climb down without falling. However, the main thing is, you are now in the starter area. You have crystal and you can build things like a spyglass. I'll grab that crystal. So specifically, I've just grabbed 105. It didn't take me a lot. Uh, my climbing pick is maybe a third down? What are we going? 40 of 65. Okay, yeah, it's about a third down. That's not too bad. The spyglass itself... Um, SPY... Oh, no, that's the inventory. 
Bam. Open that up a bit. There's the spyglass there. Okay. You only need two crystals. So really, all you need to do is get up there, tap it a small amount, you get your crystal, and you can build the spyglass. Obviously, you may want it for other buildings. Um, there was several nodes up there, so it's not like you're going to run out or anything like that. So when you first start out, uh, my tendency is to go to the right towards the water. But really, if you were to set up base here, um, it would not be hard to basically just have a bed handy on this spot. Climb up there, if you accidentally fall, you can respawn at your bed, get your crystal. Um, there are certainly plenty of creatures on the starter island. But yeah, that is how you get crystal in starter island. And so yeah, thanks for watching this uh, little mini tutorial. And once again, big shout out to Gemini Sierra. He was the one that uh, basically pointed me out that the, the crystal does exist. And if people are actually wondering where it exists on the starter island, there it is. Nice and simple. Thanks for watching Scarfig in the Atlas, and we'll see you next time.